Hey guys, I'm Brittany, and I'm in the BGSU Marine Lab in the second floor of the Life Science Building. This year is the 50 year anniversary for the BGSU Marine Lab. As you can see behind me, there's lots of different animals in here, so let's go check it out. I'm in the Marine Lab now with Justin, the head coordinator of the Marine Lab. So uh, Justin, what do you do? Well, like you said, I coordinate all the aspects of the Marine Lab. I've got two assistant coordinators and nine intern coordinators, and they oversee over 50 lab volunteers. What do you guys do in the lab like on a daily basis? Well, our lab volunteers come in and they take care of an aquarium. They'll feed, do water changes, do water quality. And then our intern coordinators, what they do is they make sure that the lab volunteers are doing their jobs. Basically, the intern coordinators are in charge of the daily operations. And then we have our assistant coordinators who, one of them is in charge of our large systems, making sure all the lab volunteers know what they're doing with the large systems. And our other assistant uh, coordinator also does coral systems. So he makes sure that the water parameters are where they should be, water changes are happening when they need to be done, and making sure that the lab volunteers know what they're doing. All right, Justin, well, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, no and, problem. And um, if you want to show us some of the animals, that'd be really great. Okay, let's okay. go see some of the animals now. Okay. So Brittany, one of the most um, exciting exhibits we have here in the Marine Lab is the touch pool. And that's because kids get to come in when they're doing tours and they get to touch some of our animals. So for example, we have horseshoe crabs in here. And these guys are really cool. They're actually not crabs at all. They're related to spiders and scorpions. Hmm. And so the reason for that is because they have book gills and spiders and scorpions have something called book lungs. And they okay. get their name because they look like they're pages in a book right. and they'll sit there and flap. But if you look at the number of legs that they have, you can see high, how highly adapted each leg is. They got these for pinching, they've got these for walking, they have these for traction while moving. And then this tail is not, it can't harm you at all. It's only used for flipping the crab over if it's on its back. Gotcha. They also have a ton of eyes on their shell, but they can only see light and dark. So they're only able to see like shadows and they can move under rocks or into the light. So one of our cool animals that we have here in the marine lab are the piranhas and actually these guys are really popular. These guys school in the wild and they're known for devouring their food. And I actually got a piece of pollock that we can do a demonstration right now with. And so they see the food and then they usually come in and there you go. They also only go after like sick and injured animals. So if a bird is, has a broken wing or falls out of a tree, piranhas will strike and they'll pull it apart. But if it's a healthy animal swimming through the water, it has a very low chance of actually getting devoured by piranhas. Oh, okay. The other animal we have in here are starfish. These are also echinoderms. And the cool thing about these guys is they have a water vascular system, so they have no blood. They use water pressure to move their body parts. They can also eject their stomach out through their mouth and digest their food externally. Very so. interesting. Monday through Friday, and these guys love to get visitors. Anyone's welcome to come by, so come check it out. <laughs>